Hi, just a quick follow-up video to the Tesla Roadster open source uh, video I did on my main channel. Um, sorry if I'm not talking correctly, it's because uh, this side of my face is numb and I can't feel my tongue or anything, I just got back from the dentist. So, uh, yeah, if you see blood coming out, then you'll know I've bitten my tongue and I don't realise it. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you very much for uh, me love scotch, I think it is, in the comments section of the previous video I pointed out, uh, because uh, a lot of people point out, where's the source code, right? <laughs> like, where's the, you know, for the firmware and everything else? And they point out that it's on the GitHub, which is not linked on that Tesla page that I could actually find, that Roadster page that I could find. Anyway, Tesla's uh, GitHub here, they do actually um, have it. They just released it the other day, updated yesterday. I don't know if it's been there before, but uh, yeah, you can actually go in here and they've got, it just says diagnostic software. So like, I don't know if it's actually the firmware for the, it seems like it's the firmware for the whole car. Anyway, they've got an ISO file here. So I've downloaded that and it's, uh, you know, it's a couple hundred meg and here's all the stuff in the file here, okay? And it's got, <clears throat> looks like all the previous versions, right? So this is really quite good. Uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> it's really difficult to talk. Uh, it's got the boots. Um, I don't, you know, I, I'm not into this sort of stuff. So I don't know, leave it down and thought, you know, thoughts in the comments down below. I don't know what a pet file is. Um, <clears throat> help message. What is that? Is there anything in that? <laughs> Cannot open. No. Um, I can open that with, uh, can I open that? No, edit. Can I open? So it's got isolinux.bin, whatever that is. Uh, a puppy slacko. <laughs> What's puppy slacko? I don't know. But anyway, it does have all the firmware versions here. So if we actually open the latest one, roads to 5.2.0, I presume this is like the software that you download to the car. Um, does the roads to have the big instrument, you know, the big tablet, phablet, the interface thing. I don't know. It's been so long. <clears throat> um, and it, here we go. It seems to have like the entire vehicle firmware, firmware, firmware. <laughs> like Jar Jar Binks, you know, when he gets his tongue zapped. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Uh, vehicle firmware, therm I can't say it. <laughs> vehicle firmware. Um, so yeah, it's. it looks like that's all there, but that's not down to the circuit level, right? That's not the that PIC processor, for example, that we saw in the uh, previous video or anything like that. So it's got tools. What do we got? Pearl, no idea what any of that does. Monitor, monitor. what does that do? No idea. Anyway, all the programmers will be uh, leaving it in the comments down below. And then we can open the release notes. Uh, there you go. Uh, bugs fixed VMS uh, LG cells. I presume they're LG battery cell support. I changed hardware ID. I presume that's what that means. Uh, do they, does the Roaster use LG cells? I thought it was Panasonic, but maybe there was an option for that. Don't know. Don't know. But uh, that's what it seems like. Anyway, so yeah, vehicle um, firmware. So there it is. There's the Linux. Yeah, but this is only top level stuff. It's not the lower level thing. Like we didn't get any of the lower level CAD files, of course. Um, some people mentioned that, uh, well, one person mentioned in the comments that Tesla did not design a lot of the electronics that went into the Roadster, apparently. So they don't have the rights to it. To, to actually uh, release it open source, and that might be fair enough. I don't know what the, you know, do they have like the motor drive module? Did somebody else develop that and they just, they have to get their permission to release it as open source, even though maybe they paid for the development? I don't know. If you have any clue, leave it in the comments down below. But um, yeah, so this is only the high level stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, it's got it's like firmware, but no, this is, I do believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, what's a, What's a shifter? I don't know. Are these different hex files? These look like different hex files for different... Um, because, of course, the for when you update the firmware, there could be a processor on there that not only updates its own firmware, but then can actually remote program update all of the smaller modules and stuff like that. So it could actually be in there. Um, but the, yeah, so, so there's HVAC. Okay, so it looks like this is for different modules. Uh, CPLD, R3, whatever that is. Uh, battery BSM is that some sort of battery and then this thing and the shifter is the 
ship as the you know the uh, ship is it manual? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, the, uh, I got no idea. Yeah, so maybe these are the firmware for the different modules and stuff like that. So maybe it does actually have. Well, no, it's only got two. Like it, no, there's, that's that's not source code, right? These these are just the hex files, right? I mean, we can go further in here. VDS app dot bin. No, no, they they're just image files. This is not firmware. So, no, I'm I'm going to say nope on that. Um, nope for the source code. Unless I'm missing it, please leave it in the comments if I have missed it. But no, I don't see the source code. I just see various firmware image files for the main processor and maybe some some auxiliary uh, processors that it has access in the ability to update to. But I don't know what is a puppy slacker. I mean, that's enormous. That's most of the file size here. SFS, sorry, not that type of programmer. I don't know what any of that is. Um, so that's where the maybe is the source code in there. Don't know. But I like to me, dummy programmer Dave, um, uh, like, you know, I can just do basic C and assembler at, at, at the micro level. I'm not into like in, anything else is uh, not my thing. So yeah, I'm going to say that's yeah, nah. That's a yeah, nah, as we say here in Australia. Um, that is not, I'm not seeing the source code, unless I, the only place I can see it is that it's buried away in there, because it certainly doesn't seem to be in the zip. It's just the hex and image files, the downloadables. So that ain't source code, I'm afraid. But there you go. Um, so thank you for telling us about the GitHub. I didn't know that exists, and they didn't uh, link it in on the main page, but... There you go. So there's some additional stuff there, but yeah, it's not all that low level stuff. We didn't get the low level schematics. We didn't get any like hardware CAD files for any parts. Really, was there? I don't know. Did I miss it? Um, <laughs> please let me know if I did. But yeah, no hard, let no low level CAD files, no low level module uh, schematics or anything like that, and or no low level source code. So, mm, oh well, <laughs> I didn't expect it, but there you go. Quick update. Thanks. Catch you next time.